Hello everyone and welcome to Pandemicraft! This is Jeronitis Pandemic, in case you ever wonder, because I never put the pandemic part in the recordings. But this is Jeronitis Pandemic, henceforth Pandemicraft, and we'll say it six more times so you get the idea. We are now on the multiplayer server that we have put up, uh, courtesy of Hero. Uh, T3 you, Hero. Hero. Yes, thank you, Hero. Uh, that is Max Re... Uh, yes, Max Rebo you're hearing in the background. He is he... off somewhere doing something. I don't know exactly what. I heard he died just recently, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> All right, this is the spawn house. Um, I used my cheaty powers as an op in the server to set up a house for people to spawn in at. Um, for people who just joined the server or just getting started, this is a safe zone. Okay, I put up, uh, you know, light trees are nearby, but for you to to make your first basic wood stuff out of. Um, we have a link book to a mining age. I went ahead and made the mining age straight out of the box. Um, here we have the basic stuff. Welcome to Pandemicraft. Please observe these rules. Okay, anytime we're talking, we want to keep it PG rated. Um, I'm not making this an adult only server, but I'm not making it a child only server. Um, so we'll, you know, keep it reasonable. You know, it's not, not a lot to ask, I don't think. Um, Two, be nice, no mean or destructive pranks. Uh, we don't want to have someone log in and go, you know, log into where they would be standing in the middle of their house and be in the middle of a crater. That's not cool. Now, you know, other things, you know, pranks are going to be fun. You know, we, we can have fun with each other and that's fine. Just don't don't be mean about it. You know, there's and, and you know, if you think it might be mean, you can consult one of the ops that would be me, uh, Max, or Hero, unless you're doing it to one of us, in which case, if you think it might be mean, keep in mind, we are ops, we can do horrible things to you, uh, so <laughs> keep, keep that in mind. Uh, no large-scale mining in the overworld. Um, we don't want to chop up the overworld too much. Uh, that's why I created the mining world straight out of the uh, box. That way, if you want to go straight to the mining world and destroy things, that's fine. Um, you know, large scale being, um, you know, turtles using to dig out spots, quarries, you know, we just don't want giant holes in the ground that don't go anywhere. You know, we don't, you know, oh, look, here's a cave. Let's explore it. That's perfectly fine. I'm perfectly happy with that idea. Go for it. But, uh, just no, you know, huge things. Um, if you're on the server, no stealing other people's stuff. Okay. Um, we understand that sometimes you might need one more thing. And, you know, if you consult with people before and they say, yes, you can borrow things from time to time, that'd be fine. But, you know, we don't want people to come into their house and, you know, find that that item that they worked so hard to get is missing. And, you know, somebody did that. Uh, we can track movements and stuff taken out of containers by people. Uh, we really don't want to have to do that. So keep it clean. Keep it nice. All right. Okay, PvP is on. You can hurt each other. However, we discourage you from just actively killing each other. Um, it's not, you know, I mean, if it's an understood thing, you know, we don't want people to get upset. He killed me and took my stuff, you know. That's a, a secondary thing of no stealing, but we also don't want you to go killing people. Okay, uh, six, Rain 2006. That's my wife. Okay, if you watch any of my YouTube series, then you already know that's my wife. But uh, she's my wife, so be careful. She's, uh, she can be a little vindictive, but also, uh, I am very protective over her, and, uh, you know, pranking her is not illegal, I'm not gonna say don't do it, just be a little extra careful with her, because, you know, yeah. And, of course, if you don't like any of these rules, go away. Um, if you can't follow the rules, we don't want you here, um, you know, we, we want to have this be a fun and fun nice place to be where we can have fun enjoy ourselves and not have to worry about any kind of large-scale drama so uh the other thing as a side note uh we don't want to have any mistcraft dimensions created if you want a mistcraft uh, dimension created talk to me about it or talk to hero about it and we'll see if we can't get that done for you um so this is for anybody who happens to be coming to the server that is your warning and now i have wasted way too much time in which i should have been punching trees so it's time to go punch some trees and get some basic stuff started. Whoa, hole in the ground. Okay, now, um, if you've watched my series before, you may have seen that I have a pretty decent idea of what's going on in the game. Uh, you can take that notion and just throw it out now, because this is the monster pack. The monster pack has 300-something mods in it, and it is... Uh, 
ever so slightly larger than what I'm used to playing with. It also has quite a few mods that I know nothing about. Uh, so, wow, the leaves decay really fast. So, you know, don't think that I'm going to have this, like, amazing knowledge and, and be talking here. You know, uh, I'm getting on a server. I've not played around. I've never been on the monster pack other than setting up the server. So, therefore, you know, I'm going to play. I'm going to have fun. But don't expect me to be, like, amazingly knowledgeable and, and tutorial and stuff. I'm going to not know how things work and get aggravated with how things aren't working just as much as the next guy. So, uh, as I learn things, you know, feel free to ask me questions. You know, if I have an answer, I'll give it to you. If not, I'll just tell you I don't have a clue. And uh, that's pretty much what we're going to go with for now. Max, you have anything to add to anybody who might be watching this video? Well, the app, some applications are in, and we're looking forward to having people come in. So it should be a good time. Uh, we like to have fun. So uh, go for it. Indeed. All right, so we're punching trees, and we're going to go through some basic stuff. Uh, I'm aware that previously, uh, first episodes have been kind of slow and boring. Um, that's just the way it's going to be sometimes. You know, when, when you're first getting started, you don't have all the cool stuff, and you, you have to gather things and be prepared to, to spend time punching trees. So um, apologies for the boring beginnings, because, well, beginnings sometimes are boring. And uh, we'll get into some interesting stuff as soon as possible. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and cut for now, and I'll come back once I get some pretty basic stuff set up. Ooh, I saw an apple. Apple, apple, apple means I won't starve to death. At least not for now. Munch, 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 munch. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we'll be back once I get some basic stuff set up, and then we'll go from there. Be right back. All right, we're back now. I have made my way over to Max's house and uh, say hi to Stormtrooper Max. Um, let's see, we are going to use up some of his resources because he has said that we are allowed to. And uh, we're going to hopefully cook up some iron here. And uh, we're in the home sweet hole in the wall for Max's. Um, we, uh, I forgot that I, when I was setting things up and I visited this place in cheat mode, I gave him some Nitor as lights, because he, he really likes the way Nitor looks. And yes, those were cheated in, I'm sorry. <laughs> you weren't supposed to see that. But that's okay. Um, there will be very little cheating in of stuff. Um, I'm capable as an op, but I'm going to do it the same way as I do my single player world. I'm only going to cheat things in as, uh, as they are absolutely necessary. Mimichite. Mimichite from Mimicry or Mimicry. M Mimicry. <laughs> I'm smart. All right, so let's see. We got some iron. We can go ahead and make ourselves an iron pickaxe. Yeah, we're just going to have to do it that way. Realistically, what would be ideal... Uh, Max gave me an iron sword, by the way. That was very nice of him. I appreciate that, Max. It was a drop. Got it off of a zombie. Go figure. So we're just going to impede on Max's hospitality for just a little bit while we figure out what we're doing. It's always harder when you start out. So eventually we're going to build a spawn village or a spawn uh, area. Uh, I intend to build a workshop in when given time. And I intend to do well. I intend to do a lot of things. After all, this is going to be... Okay, it's not going to be like that. We're going to... I'm going to harvest your wheat, Max. Okay. It's it's done, and it needs to be harvested and replanted, so. There was also uh, some in a chest if you're making bread. I think when uh, what it comes down to is I'll probably stick with the mods that I know at first and get a really good... Uh, firm base setup and then once I've got a firm base underneath me I'll start playing with the new mods and learning how to do stuff that I know nothing about I think I think that's the, that would be a decent way to go Cause, I mean I can be like well first day on the server a bunch of mods I don't know anything about let's dive headfirst into something I know nothing of Oh, 
All right, wheat harvested, replanted, and <coughs> you need to mark your front door better. What you doing? Trying to find your front door. Oh. <laughs> I just used the notch I put in the ground. Indeed. All right, Um, the wheat is in there as well. Although I think, you know what, as long as you don't mind, I'm going to see if I can... Yes, we can do that. And then this. All right, I'm cooking 32 loaves of bread upstairs in the uh, in the furnace to get things rolling. Okay, I've marked the entrance. All righty, so I guess what I need... Gosh, you know, realistically, it would be easier just to... I've impeded upon your your hospitality, and that's wonderful. But I think I should probably go find because I mean I want to put stuff in my inventory somewhere, but I don't want to to double well, on chests. your inventory. Go grab some chests and make your own chests. I mean, you know, place your own chest, dig out a little area, that'll work. Dig out a little niche, niche, a niche. I'm gonna dig a niche. Unfortunately, the hillside I dug myself into isn't particularly large, so um, you might hit air as you're going out. Well, the whole point yeah, is to, you the whole point is to build wing, your own stuff. A room, go for it. I'm looking for diamonds. That's just because you want that bot running. Yeah. You realize you have to have a chunk loader or be the chunk loader yourself until yeah. you can... I'm willing to pay the price, but I got the ender pearl, so I'm on my way. That's true. Very lucky to get an ender pearl so easily so early. Yeah, I, I saw him, and, well, I killed myself getting it, and I had to go back down and nearly... I think I died once. No, but I, get, I did get it back in the first go-round, but I paid the price. I, I, it took a couple of lives. All right, so I've got three chests out in a little alcove off to the side for now. I'm just going to throw pretty much everything in it. Anything that I don't think I will actively need. Basic tools. A couple loaves of bread. Some sticks so that I can make some torches. Good old torches. Well, there should be some coal up there if you want to go ahead and... I grabbed some of the charcoal. Good. So now I should be able to light my little alcove. Um, does F7 work on this server? Yes, you know it how, does. You know how sometimes it didn't work on other servers? I wanted to make sure that we actually... Oh, yeah. Yeah, monsters can spawn in your front doorway. I just got uh, punked by uh, slime, sludge. Oh, and it doesn't... What did I do? It's still pouring. What? I opened up some sludge down here, and of course it's making me silly. Oh yeah, you gotta hate that. Um... But I thought I closed the hole I punched open, but it's still coming. Calcite crystal. Calcite crystal is used to make calcite block. Also makes quicklime. Oh, it smelts into quicklime. Or you can combine it with mimic mimic chite to make quick lime alloy smelter huh wonder what the alloy smelter is from okay well that's interesting there's a lot of stuff to learn about rutile now i have rutile in uh in magic farm and i still don't know what the heck that stuff's for i know it's from uh whatever other craft that is there's there's everything craft in this thing. Well, look out, we're near tin. a we're near a pool of uh, sludge. Because if you take out this column of dirt here, I think it's going to start pouring back in here. That left hand column of dirt. 
peridotite. Peridotite. Breaks up like cobble. Yep. Blast resistance, 40. 1.3 one times of normal stone from Geostrata. Very interesting. So basically, it's a it's a strip mining affair at this point. Wow, this is very easy to get lost in. Yeah, that's why you have to remember this one turn that you can't find to get back out. That's why I was just doing my own digging. Figure if I I'd rather have confined tunnels so it's easy to find my way back but in doing that I found the sludge I found yellow right ore from big reactors sludge. so there's a big pool of sludge here oh you know the uh, the mining world I, I was walking around in there earlier before I decided to, to actually get on and do an official start of the server Yep. You know, after I built the little spawn house from the uh, beginning of this, why do I have... I have slime sounds around me. Oh, because there's a giant slime right there. Uh, anyway, I went around there, and the, the mining world is... Uh, is It's got, like, pools of, uh, of biofuel all over it. Oh. It was very, uh, very surprising. I wasn't expecting to have a bunch of... Uh, biofuel just laying around might make for you know easy power generation early on but uh, still it's just kind of like wow where did that come from all this coal and I dig out the one block that has a torch sitting on it uh. sounds about right for me doesn't it normally I don't throw torches uh, torches on stuff I would want to mine so well, I, just, I just ran wanted. through dropping... Oh, no, I, I've dropped torches all over the place now. I try to be a little selective. Well, I just saw a bunch of open area that would be dangerous and dark, so I threw torches in it. I found an essence or berry bush. Actually, there's... Yeah, I left that there if it's the one I found. There's a string of three of them... Um, not far from here in uh, in another uh, area in the tunnel, but they're down there. There's some to collect. I'm finding Rain will be very happy. I'm finding some Lapis. Indeed, she will be very happy. Not sure how soon she'll be able to get on and play on here, or how much at first. We will have to see how that turns out. There's there's a lot of potential for this. I showed her oh something. I showed her something that that she's just going nuts over already. Um, if you get a chance to look up the chisel mod. Chisel mod. C yeah. C H I S E L. Yeah. Uh, or just take one stick and one piece of iron and put them in the crafting grid uh, diagonally from each other and it will make a chisel. Then with the chisel in your hand, right click and it opens up a chisel menu. And uh, basically you place a block in the center of it and it displays other options for blocks that you can make with the chisel. It oh. is very fancy. There's like a lot of really pretty blocks and and Rain is going to love it. I showed her some of the ones. She was just like, ooh, ooh, pretty. You know how she is. Oh, you're oh, directly yeah. below me now. I see your name, although I'm nowhere near getting to you. Well, I'm heading towards Bedrock. I am now itching to get some diamond. <laughs> Have you noticed at the bottom left of your screen, there's now a thing that tells you how many more blocks you can break with your tool? Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I, I saw it, but I wasn't paying strict attention to it. That's a good thing to know. Yep, it lets you know how many more blocks before your tool goes snap. Which I think is really handy to have. It also tells you if you have uh, 
it tells you whatever's in your in your hand currently. So if you switch to something that doesn't have a damage thing, it'll tell you that you have that in your hand, but then it'll also tell you uh, how many of them you have in your hand if you're holding more than one of something that doesn't have a damage bar. Well, I'm seeing a lot of stone and dirt, so I'm either going to run a lava or diamond. If this version supports your theory of how things spawn. Yep. Well, there's bedrock. Alrighty, well, this has been uh, an interesting running around mining thing, but we were going to cut out here again until we get back to the surface. Uh, with some stuff in tow. Uh, if anything happens that's truly interesting between now and then, we will. Uh, I'll try to throw the recording on real quick and see if we can uh, let you guys in on that little thing. I'm running into so much stuff that I know nothing about. And the, the potential is there for so much greatness, but I'll have to figure out what we can do with it before we can do something with it. So we'll be back here in just a minute. And we're back. So uh, we did a little bit more harvesting around underneath the ground, and uh, I've decided to show Max something that he probably doesn't know anything about. Uh, some people do know things about this. If they do, great. If they don't, well, whichever. I'm I'm doing things. It's going to be cool. Okay, so three wooden planks. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Do I have any planks left? Probably not. All right, Max. So when you first start out there is another little thing that you can do to make things uh, easier for yourself. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm currently in process of putting that together. Um, if you look up a watering can, let's see, I think it's like that. Yes. It's like that. All right, here, check that out. I'm making a second one for myself currently. I'm just waiting for stuff to cook. So if you go right-click that on, and you know it says water and can empty. If you go right-click it on a water source, it will fill it up. And then you should be able to go out and uh, water your crops. It should go from empty to not empty anymore. Yep, no longer says empty, so then you can hold right click over your crops and watch them go. Oh. It's a it's a easy way to not starve early on. It basically speeds up your crop growth. You just stand oh. there and hold right click on it and you can watch your crops grow a lot faster. Interesting. Yep, should make it a lot easier for you to uh, not go hungry. Although, granted, you've got a, a pretty nice start here already. You know, the the large amount of crops means there's usually going to be some stuff ready to go. But I don't think I'd ever showed you that before. No. And I've never used one on e any of my other series, so I figured I might show it to people here and let them see for themselves. Nifty little gimmick. Indeed. It was put in by, um, I think it's RW Tema is the guy who, uh, who writes that mod, the Extra Utilities mod. Uh -huh. uh, he, put, he put it in as a aid to help people not starve as much in the beginning of a server or beginning of a game. He, uh, when they start the servers that they play on, they always have, they have people starving to death left and right. It's like, oh, we're here, and everyone's running around, and it's like, oh, this person starved to death, so that person starved to death. And it's like, so many people starved to death, and he's just, so he decided to make it, I mean, all, all you need is wood and smooth stone, and you can make one of these. Wow. Yep. It definitely uh, increases your food growth. The can will actually empty eventually, but it takes a long time to go through one of those. And then you just right-click it on some, some water again, so it's not that big a thing either. So, so based on that, 
Now, of course, as soon as they did this, somebody decided that they were going to uh, to automate the process and uh, and have it so the watering can is used all the time and making crops grow at an accelerated rate constantly. Uh-huh. And uh, Tema didn't appreciate that so much. He's like, that was not the intention of this. This was to be nice to people so they wouldn't starve, not to make it so that they have infinite whatever or later on. And uh, so he, he made it so that if anything uh, pours from it that isn't a player, it breaks the can. Huh. Well, there are things in the in the game that you can make right-click for you. So, you know, he, he was like, yeah, I, I see what you're doing there, and I, understand, I appreciate that's what you're doing with it, but, you know, that, that's abusing its original intent. And he was like, no. And he just changed the code and made it so that if you try to do that, it breaks the can. So I haven't actually tried to use the automated version of it yet, because, again, like I said, I knew of its existence, but I had never actually used it. You realize it's getting dark, right? Yep, I'm going to real quick... Uh... Start another row of uh... wheat. I'll just borrow your bed real quick. Sure. Oh, that'll do it. Since we have the the half-and-half half version here. So, yeah, oh, you fun... Already, you already... Uh harvested all this while I was yeah do you want the seeds yep or you can see where they should go indeed I can do that as well did you know that in this version you can make bacon cheeseburgers bacon cheeseburgers yep I'm sure the pigs are happy about that all right those seeds are planted thank you yes sir but yeah, you can actually just stand there and hold on it until they grow completely. Like here. Yeah, so like, that, like you're doing right there. They'll push all the way up, eh? Yep, they will. All you gotta do is stand there and hold right click. Just stand there and hold it, and you can actually watch as they just pop up. I think it does a 3x3 three three area, roughly. Yeah, see, so look... I, are you holding over there? Because I, I don't. Yep, yep, I want to yep. look at you, but at the same time, I don't want to move from where I am right now. So I, I'm I'm wanting to say it gives about a 50% growth boost, makes them grow 50% faster. But I, I think it's more than 50% faster. It to be seems honest like with it you. has to be. So now, if you're like growing carrots or or potatoes or something of that nature. That would make it a lot easier than that, because I mean, you can't eat wheat directly, but you can eat carrots directly, and I think you can eat potatoes directly. You don't even have to cook them, so I mean, that that's something to be considered. Now, is it when you're when you're filling the can from water source, are you using up uh, source blocks? Nope. There, there's there's no minus side as far as I can tell. Ooh, your sugarcane needs harvesting. Are you wanting to expand the sugarcane or just harvest and keep? Um, we can do whatever. I I hadn't done anything about har- uh, expanding it yet. Need to move that sand out. There's a bunch of sand behind it that can be repositioned. Well, it, the sugarcane will grow on grass just the same. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, any any. Uh... But it has to be next to the water. Block. Yeah, it has to be next to a water source block. No, I've been ignoring grass because I thought it had to be sand. Nope. Well, I did that funny. for a while, too. It's the funny ideas, the ideas you get in your head and then you don't test them. Well, I mean, when you find sugarcane, it's almost always on sand. So, I mean, it makes sense for it to be as you think. So, I mean, it's not like, you know, you have no basis for that. How could you possibly think of that? No, of course not. It's just the way they do it. I love the fact that they made the uh, the leaves on the trees disappear like super fast. Yes. Have you noticed that too? Yeah, that saves quite a bit of time when you, because I've got an orchard here, 
and I'd put it up and take it down, put it up and take it down to, to facilitate the growth of wood. And, and uh, it's nice not have to wait for the stuff to drop. Oh, wow. I was trying to cut this tree down, but it's a, it's a bigger tree than I thought. Yeah. Well, for that, I always have my blocks of dirt to climb up on. I just use the blocks of wood that I cut down from the bottom part. <laughs> I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. That is awesome. I love the fact that those leaves decay so quickly. I was I'm cutting down trees around the pond here where the sugar cane is. Well, that's going to be it for now. So, uh this has been episode 1 of Pandemicraft. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to post this episode. I I'm wanting to do it, like, right now. I could, like, render it and post it right now. But I'm really not sure that's what I want to do. I may want to keep things uh, keep things the way they are for the moment. And when I have a couple of episodes built up, then start posting them. Well, I, sure. was, I was coming up here so that I could get that for you while I was talking. But then it was gone. I still got to get that one that you're working on. There you go. All right, so uh, this is Pandemicraft. The, the humble beginnings of what I hope will be a, a really fun thing to do and a really, uh, really, you know, large community of like-minded people who will, uh, well, not necessarily, they don't have to be like-minded, but uh, like-minded in the idea of having fun, at least. So uh, we'll see you next episode, and uh, Jaronitis signing off. Help spread the gaming.